Top five worst teams in NBA history. Over the NBA's seven decade history, standout teams and players shaped the league. Championship winners influence trends transforming the game. In this video, we'll skip the greatest and focus on the not so great. Delving into the dark side, we highlight five teams that set negative records. With the fifth one, its position on this list depends on how the season ends as they are currently in the midst of an embarrassing losing streak. Number 5. 2023-24 Detroit Pistons So, have you ever heard the saying, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again? Now, everyone's aware of what's happening in the NBA. It's no secret. No one wants to be the team that loses to the Detroit Pistons, who are on a historic 27-game losing streak this season. The Pistons are in a tough spot. No coach really wanted to work in Detroit in the offseason, and Monty Williams ended up taking the job because of a tempting offer. Now, he's coaching a team he didn't choose solely because he believed in their talent. But speaking of talent, Detroit's lineup is kind of comical. With Jalen Duran injured for half the season, their options at center, Marvin Bagley and James Wiseman, are pretty similar and both are struggling. Defensively, they play a drop coverage that doesn't work well, and offensively, they need to contribute more efficiently. The whole roster is filled with discrepancies. Offensive players struggle on defense, and good defenders are not contributors on offense. It's a mess, and details like defensive lapses and poor decision-making are costing them games. And knowing this, Pistons owner Tom Gores had a chat with the Pistons to talk about the ongoing losing streak. Here's what he had to say to the players, the front office, and the fans. We have a good core. We have a good foundation. We have these, all these young players, and we have flexibility. So we have to not panic in do the right thing, execute, and have urgency. So that's our that's our balance. You know, we have to thread the needle to create urgency, create change because we're not where we need to be. But don't don't ruin the, the ship, the boat here. It's it's pretty good. Number four, 1992-93 Dallas Mavericks. Back in the day, the Mavericks weren't exactly shining bright. They were more like the class clowns of the NBA in the 90s. After hitting the playoffs in 89-90, they took a 10-year break from the postseason spotlight. Trouble brewed for the Mavs around 91-92 when Roy Tarpley got the boot from the league for breaking the drug use rules one too many times. Then, two-time All-Star Fat Lever, who joined in 90, had a tough time dealing with injuries. The 91-92 season was a rough patch with a 22-60 record, and to add to the woes, they traded away top scorer Rolando Blackman in the offseason. Oh boy, the 92-93 season for the Mavs was like a roller coaster from hell. Things kicked off with Fat Lever out for the count and Jim Jackson, the fourth pick in the draft, playing hard to get due to some contract beef. The season practically had a disaster label slapped on it right from the start. They were 1-5, hit rock bottom at 2-30, and, and were still limping along at 4-50 and 50 by the time Jackson decided to grace them with his presence. Let me tell you, if Jackson hadn't shown up, those Mavs were on a one-way ticket to the Hall of Shame for the worst NBA record ever. But hey, Jackson pulled off some heroics, winning seven out of the last 28 games, including the final two, just so they wouldn't be etched into history as the ultimate losers. This season was a train wreck, marked by three losing streaks of more than 10 games, with the grand champion winning a whopping 19 games. To top it off, they wrapped things up with the worst point differential ever, a mind-boggling negative 15.2 points per game. Number 3. 2015-16 Philadelphia 76ers Trust the process might be the mantra for the 76ers now, but getting there was like enduring a marathon of basketball heartaches. Picture this, three years of agony starting in 2013-14, hitting rock bottom with the nightmare that was the 15-16 season. Ouch! The downward spiral began when they swapped Andre Iguodala for Andrew Bynum in a three-team trade back in 2012. Spoiler alert, Bynum never even dribbled a ball for Philly, thanks to a series of unfortunate injuries. Then came the tanking phase in the 13-14 season, waving goodbye to Drew Holiday in exchange for Nerland's Noel and a 2014 draft pick. 
The struggle was real for the Sixers, but hey, at least it eventually paid off with Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid holding down the fort. Trusting the process wasn't always sunshine and rainbows, but hey, look at them now. Oh man, the Sixers were really going through the ringer. After Noel took a season-long break, Michael Carter-Williams swooped in and snagged the Rookie of the Year title. Then came the 14-15 season with the hopeful arrival of Embiid, who, unfortunately, decided to take a two-season hiatus from NBA action. They also waved goodbye to Williams in exchange for some promising draft picks. Little did they know, injuries and trading away key players were laying the groundwork for a full-blown disaster. Fast forward to the next season, and despite Jaleel Okafor holding it down, they kicked off with a painful 0-18 start. Toss in a 10-game losing streak from the previous season, and boom, a record-breaking 28-game nosedive. But wait, there's more. Two losing streaks of 12 games and another unlucky 13. Just when it seemed like they were gunning for the worst record in NBA history, they pulled off win number 10 in their 78th game, narrowly avoiding that dubious honor. They were surely scraping through the skin of their teeth. Number 2. 1972-73 Philadelphia 76ers The Sixers have a bit of an unfortunate claim to fame with not one, but two of the top five worst seasons in NBA history. Flashback to their glory days in 1967, when they clinched the NBA title and even set a record with 68 wins in the regular season. The downfall was no mystery that season. Before the 1972-73 games kicked off, the coaching maestro Jack Ramsey and the legendary Billy Cunningham bid farewell to the team, with all-star Archie Clark also making an exit a season earlier. Things started on a sour note with a 15-game losing streak. Tack on a 14-game slide and a then-record 20-game freefall, and after 62 games, they were sitting at a painful 4-58, a measly .065 winning percentage, on track for a disastrous 5-77 finish. Surprisingly, they managed to pull off five wins in the next seven games, even beating the eventual champion Knicks. But alas, the optimism was short-lived as they dropped the final 13 games, sealing the deal with the worst record in an 82-game NBA season. The silver lining? They bounced back quicker than you'd expect, reaching four NBA Finals and clinching one title in the decade following that nightmare season. It goes to show that even in the darkest times, there's room for a triumphant comeback. Number 1. Charlotte Bobcats 2011-12 now, we've hit rock bottom in the NBA history books with this one. The epitome of the worst team ever. Let's hope we never have to witness a spectacle like this again. I mean, we're talking about a team that was the absolute worst in every possible way. The worst defense, the worst offense, and the lowest point average. It's like they had a masterclass in how not to play basketball. Picture this, they were losing by an average of 14 points, and to add insult to injury, they endured a mind-boggling 23 consecutive losses. The nightmare began right after a promising start, beating Milwaukee and giving Miami a run for their money. But alas, that was the peak before the plunge. Rookie Kemba Walker and Bismack Biombo were trying to carry the weight, but let's be real, most of the team wouldn't even cut it in the FIBA Champions League at that point. The only silver lining was that the agony was limited to 66 games thanks to the NBA lockout. By the end of the season, the Charlotte Bobcats were sporting a dismal 7-59 record. Who knows what kind of basketball tragedy would have unfolded if the season had dragged on to its full extent. Let's just be grateful it didn't and hope we've seen the last of such woeful performances on the court. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA's Darker Moments, highlighting the top five worst teams in the league's history. Which of these historically bad teams do you think faced the toughest challenges? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel for more sports content, and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Until next time, this is Dot Hoops signing off.